located at milepost 288.4 on the Denver and Rio Grande's main line to Salt Lake City, 7,683 foot high Gunnison City was the focus of the Denver and Rio Grande and the Denver, South Park and Pacific Railroads for their route across the Continental Divide and on to the mining boom of Western Colorado and the Pacific Ocean. Known to other tribes as the Black Indians, the Ute Indians were the first to occupy the area known as Gunnison. Consisting of seven tribes, the number of the Ute Nation never grew above 10,000, and of these 10,000, no more than 3,000 were part of the Tabawatch or Uncompadre Utes who summered in the Gunnison area. In 1853, the United States Congress passed a bill that commissioned four surveys for routes that could be used for a continental railway to the Pacific Ocean to be undertook by the Army Corps of Engineers. In charge of the central railway route between the 38th and 39th parallels was Gunnison's namesake, Captain John Gunnison. 41-year-old Gunnison had 11 years experience of wilderness surveying where he helped map the Salt Lake region under Captain Howard Stansbury. Chosen over John C. Fremont by Secretary of War Jefferson Davis, Gunnison was instructed to survey a railway route through the Rocky Mountains crossing the Continental Divide near Cochito Pass. Called the Pass of the Buffalo by the Utes, 10,032 foot Cochito Pass would be perfect for a railway crossing because of the lighter snowfall during the winter season. Captain Gunnison's expedition left Fort Leavenworth on June 15, 1853, including 32 mounted riflemen, 16 wagons, an instrument carriage, an ambulance, botanist Frederick Kurtzfeldt, artist Richard Kern, and astronomer Shepard Homans. While crossing Cochito Pass, Gunnison's second-in-command, Lieutenant Edward Beckworth, noted in his journal, no mountain pass ever opened more favorable for a railroad than this.